The Noctua NH-U12S Redux is the very first CPU cooler that is part of the Redux series of products. If you are not familiar with what the Redux products is, well basically you are getting the bare minimum in terms of the accessories and a different color combination. In this case the differences are bigger though, but more on that later on into the review. The Noctua NH-U12S Redux is available for around 50 US dollars or euros, which is roughly 10 US dollars cheaper than the regular NH-U12S and a whopping 20 US dollars cheaper than the NH-U12S Chromance Black Edition. In addition, the NH-U12S Redux can be acquired with the Noctua NAFK1 Redux Upgrade Pack. This upgrade package includes an additional Noctua NF-P12 Redux 1700PWM fan, a wide splitter cable, additional fan mounting clips, fan rubber pads and two extra low noise adapters. This pack is available for around 16 US dollars or euros depending on the retailer of your choice. In this review the NH-U12S Redux will be tested in its factory configuration and with the additional Noctua NAFK1 Redux upgrade pack installed, so please keep that in mind up until the end of the review. The Noctua NH-U12S Redux is different than the regular NH-U12S. Not only is the color of the fan different, but there are other changes as well. First of all, the heat pipes are not soldered to the cooling fins, and also there are just four copper-made heat pipes instead of the usual five found on the regular Noctua NH-U12S. The overall design of this cooler is good, especially for those that do not want the usual Noctua tan and brown color combination. In addition, the light and dark grey shades used on the Redux products match really well with an industrial themed system. The Noctua NH-U12S Redux has a single tower heatsink design and uses just a single fan for its active cooling. The fan in question is a Noctua NF-P12 Redux 1700PWM fan, which has a minimum speed of 450 RPM and a maximum speed of, you guessed it, 1700 RPM. Thankfully, this fan is fully PWM compatible, which means that you can control its speed through your motherboard software or an additional controller. In addition to this, this fan has a decently long cable which is, again, thankfully, covered by high quality sleeving. This being a Redux fan means that this fan has only one set of rubber pads that stand in between the frame and the heatsink of the cooler. This is done to dampen the vibrations caused by the rotational movement of the impeller and the hub assembly. The heatsink uses around 50 aluminum made cooling fins. These are shaped on the sides to not only stack one on top of the other and thus be more rigid, but also to channel the air through the heatsink itself. In addition, these fins are quite strong and will not bend that easily. Also on the sides, the fan mounting clips have a place to sit, so there's that. The top of the heatsink also features a rather nice Redux logo which is stanced directly into the surface of the top metal plate. The NH-U12S Redux has a total of 4 copper made heat pipes, one less than the regular NH-U12S cooler. These heat pipes are made from nickel plated copper and are arranged in the standard U shape to not only provide optimal heat dissipation across the heatsink but also to take up as little space as possible. Each of these heat pipes has an outer diameter of 6mm and unfortunately these are not soldered to the surface of the cooling fins. The endings of the heat pipes are symmetrical and look good for the most part. They are however not covered by any caps. The base plate of this CPU cooler is made from the same nickel plated copper as the before mentioned heat pipes. Its surface is very smooth and has a mirror like reflection and finish. This is also where the NH-U12S Redux is different than the regular NH-U12S, as the base plate has a layer of thermal compound pre-applied from the factory and no other thermal compound included in the package of the cooler. The accessories included with this cooler are the bare minimum, as in nothing apart from the mounting system itself. This is because, you guessed it, this is a Redux product and that's what they do with them, to lower the overall cost of the product to you. The NH-U12S Redux has included a comprehensive user manual, a metallic backplate, two sets of mounting arms, plastic spacers for both platforms, nuts and two-way threaded spacers. The installation process with this cooler is very easy thanks to the fact that Noctua has consistently worked to improve their mounting system, which results in the Noctua Secofilm 2 mounting system, which is the best mounting system on the market right now and you can quote me on that. 
First of all, you install the backplate at the back of the motherboard. Then at the front, you place the included plastic spacers over the studs and then over those you place the required mounting bars. You secure the bars with these mounting nuts and finally you apply the thermal compound and line up the spring loaded screws that are pre-installed on the CPU cooler and tighten those down thus securing the heatsink in place over the CPU. Finally you attach the fan onto the heatsink and connect it to a fan header on your motherboard and you're pretty much done. And this is how the Noctua NH-U12S Redux looks like installed in a regular system. Notice how the Redux colors are matching with the silver of the motherboard and also how subtle this CPU cooler is. In terms of the clearance, there is plenty to talk about, as the cooler does not even reach the RAM slots of the motherboard, let alone interfere with them. The graphics card clearance is also quite good, with ample space left between the side of the heatsink and the backplate of the motherboard. In fact, this space is just enough to allow for access to the top-mounted M.2 socket. Before we test the cooling performance of the NH-U12S Redux, you will get to hear how it sounds like with its single fan installed and with the additional fan installed in a push-pull configuration. This live noise test is done to best showcase the noise you can expect from a CPU cooler, as while the decibel reading is useful, it does not take into account external factors such as bearing noises or vibrations. With the included fan running at its maximum speed of 1700 RPM, the cooler reached a maximum noise output of 40 decibels, with the measuring device placed at a standard distance of 10 cm away from the system and the CPU cooler. And with the additional fan installed at the back of the cooler, the maximum noise output reached 42 decibels. The thermal testing is done in two stages. First of all, the CPU used in all CPU cooler reviews, unless otherwise stated, is the Intel i9-9900K running both at its factory frequency and then overclocked manually to 5GHz on all cores. The first test uses the Intel Burntest V2 benchmark, which simulates a workload for the CPU which is similar with what you can encounter in your daily usage, especially in modern video games. And in this test, the Noctua NH-U12S Redux reached a maximum temperature of 62 degrees Celsius, with the ambiental temperature set at 26 degrees Celsius. This makes the NH-U12S Redux 1 degree warmer than the regular NH-U12S CPU cooler. However, the next test is where each CPU cooler will show what cooling it can offer, as this test uses the FPU stability test found within the AIDA64 Extreme software. This benchmark places an unrealistically high workload on the CPU, something which you will rarely, if ever, encounter in your daily usage unless you are doing some heavy video rendering with the CPU as the only rendering unit. And in this test, the NH-U12S Redux reached a maximum temperature of 89 degrees Celsius with just a single fan installed, and the CPU overclocked to 5 GHz on all cores. 89 degrees that the NH-U12S Redux is around 2 degrees warmer than the regular NH-U12S. Also, with the second fan installed at the back of the heatsink, the NH-U12S Redux lowered its overall temperature from 89 degrees to 87 degrees Celsius, which is equal, more or less, with the temperature of the regular NH-U12S. The Noctua NH-U12S Redux is a good CPU cooler that still manages to compete with the regular NH-U12S even though it has one less heat pipe, and the cooling fins are not soldered to the heat pipes. Of course, the price difference comes with some drawbacks. As you can see, the cooler is not identical in performance with the regular Noctua NH-U12S. Not only that, but it is also not as silent and the build quality is not as good. These are all things that we can live with, however, I'm just pointing them out so you know what to expect. The Noctua NA FK1 Redux upgrade pack is certainly worth the upgrade price of around 16 US dollars. Not only you are getting an extra fan, but you also get the required mounting clips, a Y splitter, and two low noise adapter for both fans, so it is actually quite good value.
The Noctua NH U12 S Redux is a good CPU cooler. Not only is it cheaper, but it also has its place into the market both in performance and also in terms of the looks. Those that want the Noctua quality and performance but do not want the tan and brown color scheme will really like this cooler. In the end, the Noctua NH U12 S Redux is just another option and not a competitor for the Noctua NH U12 S. All you have to do now is to decide if the differences between these two coolers are worth the price differences and the design differences. If you like this review, then you may consider subscribing for more and also if you want to support the channel in a direct way, then in the description below you will find both the links for the Patreon and the subscriber star pages of this channel.